Welcome to today's quick yoga warm-up sequence. Great for pre-workout or to prep for a longer, full-length yoga class. If you're new to the channel, I'm Heather, and I upload new free yoga classes here every week. So please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. It really does help to support free yoga here on YouTube. And this video was actually a request. So if you do have any more requests, please leave them in the comments down below. When you're ready, I'll meet you in a seated position. So I will meet you here in seated. Maybe bring one foot in and then the other or crisscross your preference. And sit up in nice and tall. So head over heart, heart over hips. You can take the hands to the knees to start here. We're just gonna roll through the shoulders a little bit. So maybe in one direction, going for one, inhaling at the top, two, and three, switch directions. And connecting your movement with your breath. Once you've done three more in the opposite direction, take the left hand forward, fingertips up, and use the right hand to maybe give a gentle pull on those fingertips for a little wrist stretch. Nothing too crazy here, just gentle. And let's just take it straight to the other side. So right hand, fingertips up. Left hand gives a gentle pull on those fingertips back. And release. Make a fist with your left hand here and grab a hold of your wrist with your pointer and thumb on your on your right hand. <laughs> grab a hold of that left wrist and do some wrist rolls. So maybe go for five in one direction and then switch doing five in the other direction. And let's switch, so release. Make a fist with the right hand, grab a hold of that right wrist, and five circles in one direction. And then the other. Great, shake out the hands. Take the left hand to the floor, inhale. Right fingertips come up overhead and maybe slightly look up. Gently release, bring right fingers to the floor. Inhale, left hand comes up and over. And again, maybe looking up to the ceiling. On an exhale, come back down. Inhale, both hands rise up to the sky. Exhale, take the right hand to the left knee. Left fingertips come behind you and look back for a gentle twist. Maybe every inhale, the spine gets a little longer and every exhale, you're twisting a little deeper but not with force, using your core and not so much with this right hand here on the knee. Great, untwist. Inhale, both hands come back up. Exhale, just switching, taking it to the other side. Great, untwist, coming back to center. Meet me in a tabletop position next. So let's get on our hands and knees <laughs> and take the shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, fingers spread wide. Inhale, drop the stomach, open up through the chest. 
Exhale, draw the chin in and round the back. Almost like a cat. Like a Halloween cat. Inhale, dropping the stomach, opening up through the chest. Exhale, chin in, back of the neck long. And one more. Inhale, opening up through the heart here. And exhale, rounding. Great, come to a neutral tabletop and take the right foot, lift up the right knee and take the right foot out behind you. You can, actually, I'm gonna point the foot here and inhale, exhale. Bring that right knee into the chest, protract the shoulders like we were doing in that cat position just a second ago. Exhale, or <laughs> inhale, bring that foot back and exhale, rounding, bringing the knee in. One more, take the foot back. And exhaling, rounding the back, knee in, set the foot down. And the shin down. Taking it to the other side, lift up the left knee, point the toes. And try to, um, I love to have my leg lift up really high here. We really wanna try to keep it in line with our hips and our back. So inhaling first, exhaling, squeezing that left knee into the chest, rounding the back. Inhale, left foot comes back. Exhale, round. One more. Inhale, left foot back. And exhale, round, knee in. Great job. Knee comes to the floor. Curl the back toes under, lift up the knees and lift up the hips to the sky for downward facing dog. So keep the fingers spread wide. If you need to place a little bend in the knees, definitely do that to keep uh, your spine nice and long. And maybe pedal it out. Take your time in this down dog. Lifting up one heel, rooting down through the other and then switching. Use in line with biceps and pressing the chest towards the thighs. Nice strong arms. Gently walk to the top of your mat, stepping it up, ending up in a forward fold at the top of your mat. Take a moment here. Maybe even placing a bend in the knees here as well, just to get started. Inhale, fingers come to shins, flat back, spine parallel to the ceiling. Exhale, fold. Place a gentle bend in the knees. Inhale, fingertips come all the way down around and up to the sky. From here, take your right hand and grab a hold of your left wrist. One more inhale. Lifts the chest up and exhale, bend to the right side. Inhale, gently release both hands back up to center and grab a hold of the right wrist. Exhale, take it to the left side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, take the hands and the torso, fold it, fold it all the way down. Plant the palms shoulder width apart. Take both feet back, drop the knees, uncurl the toes, shift forward for a little chaturanga. Torso comes to the floor, inhale, baby cobra, chest lifts up, exhale, fold. Curl the back toes under, 
lift up to tabletop first, and then lift the knees up for downward facing dog. Bring both feet together, inhale, lift up the right leg. Exhale, squeeze that knee into the chest, shift the shoulders forward so that they're over the wrist, protract the shoulders. Exhale, bring that foot back up into the downward facing dog position or a three-legged dog. Exhale, shift forward. Inhale, shift back. And one more, squeeze the right knee into the chest, flex through that foot now and step it in between the hands. Drop the back knee, uncurl the toes, inhale, fingertips come up for a low lunge. Now your thighs are active here. They're actively squeezing in towards one another as your uh, pelvic floor is lengthening down. So not only are we stretching, but we're strengthening as well. On an exhale, bring the fingertips to the floor, shift the hips back, straighten through the front leg and flex this front foot. So your hips should be over your back knee and as square as possible to the front of the mat. And bend through the knee, plant the palms, curl the back toes under, lift up that back knee, <laughs> step it back to a plank, and then chaturanga, whatever version you want to go with this time. So shifting forward, baby cobra, inhaling if you're with me, and then curling the back toes under, we will all meet in downward facing dog. Take your time with these transitions as this is a warm up sequence. Bring both feet together into center. Inhale, lift up the left foot. Exhale, shift it forward. Knee into chest, shoulder shift. Inhale, back to a three legged dog. Exhale, knee into chest. One more time, inhale, shifting back into three-legged dog. And exhale, knee into chest, flex through that front foot, step it through. Lower the back knee, uncurl the toes. Inhale for low lunge. So you're in low lunge, your front knee stays over your front ankle. And you can curl or uncurl the back toes, it's really up to you. On an exhale, lower the fingertips, shift the hips back for half split. So straightening through the front leg, flexing the front foot. This is one of my favorite hip openers to warm up with. I love to do these in the morning as well. <laughs> Maybe in the comments put, what are your favorite uh, warm-up poses that you like to start with? Love to see that. And shift forward, bend through the front knee, curl the back toes under, lift up the back knee, and just step it back to a plank, drop the knees and curl the toes. That is it for my warm-up sequence. From here, you can go into a child's pose, bringing the hands forward. And then whenever you're ready to get up and get started for your workout or deeper yoga practice, definitely do so. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this and um, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, Yogi, and namaste.